Hi there, Mark Kostner here from Building Websites Made Simple. By now, you've probably heard about the Web Coaching Clinic. It's where I'm getting a group of people together and personally coaching them through building their own website so that by the end of the coaching program, each and every student will have their very own website up and running, guaranteed. You can find out more about it at buildingwebsitesmadesimple.com forward slash webcoachingclinic or just click the link below this video. So, to help you get started building your site, I thought I'd give you a little bit of inspiration and some ideas about what's possible. So here's a website that we built for one of our clients. They wanted an e-commerce based website and we chose to use Joomla as the base for that. As you can see, it's a light, fun looking site. So let's take a look at some of the features here. We'll just scroll down the page and as you can see, we've got our latest products and featured products. Now these pop up automatically depending on the settings within the shopping cart. On the right hand side here we have a search box. Just below that we have a list of product categories which you can browse through to find various products. We'll come back to that in just a moment. We've also got the option to shop by age. So if you're looking for something for a baby or a toddler, just click on that category and a list of products will come up suitable for that particular age group. We've also got a shop by brand option down here. So you simply select the drop down menu and select the brand that you want to purchase. So let's take a quick look at how it's actually laid out. Let's say we want to shop for an animal type toy. We click on animals and you get a nice list. As you can see, it's nicely laid out. There's an image on the left hand side, the description, everything that you need to make a buying decision. Now, if you want some more information about the product, simply click on the image, for example. A pop-up opens up with a larger image. Or for more product details, simply click the product details link. This brings up a detailed description of that particular product. As you're shopping through the list, if you find a product you want to purchase, you just simply click on Add to Cart. There's a message that pops up telling you the product was added to the cart, and you can either continue shopping or go to the checkout. Now, a question that we get asked a lot is how to set up a photo gallery on your site. So here's a website that not only has a photo gallery, but it's actually set up to sell photos. So let's take a look. Once again, this is all based on Joomla and basically all the features you see here are out of the box if you're using this particular template. So let's take a look. On the left hand side, you can see all the photo thumbnails. Clicking on any one of those shows a larger version of the image on the right hand side. Now this site has some pretty cool features. So let me just run through those with you. Let's say that you want to look at a different group of photos. You click on those. And here you have a list of all the photos in that group. If you want more information about a particular photo, just click on Select Photo Details. That brings up specific information on this specific photo. As you can see, we've also got an Add to Cart button here as well. If you want to see a larger image in this case, we click on it and it opens up what we call a light box. And these are all features that are built into Joomla, which just makes it so easy to build websites that look absolutely awesome. Here's another great looking Joomla website. This one's got a bit of an Apple feel to it. So you can see the menus at the top look pretty cool. As you roll your mouse over, you get the drop down menu. You can see that there's also a sub menu as you roll over the various menu items. There's also this sliding gallery, which you've probably noticed in the background here. You're able to click through and look through various items. So just say you've got something that you want to show off or you want to demonstrate, instead of using the old banners that you used to have, you can have something that's actually moving here. That looks absolutely great. We'll just scroll down a bit and take a look at some of the other sections. Here are some other great little features. Just say you've got two or three products that you want to feature or some announcements that you want to make. You can put those in a box just like this one here. And simply by rolling your mouse over, it'll slide across to the next item. You can put images in here, you can put text in here or whatever you want. I like this little demo video here as well. That's a nice little touch. Down the bottom you can see some menus as well as some article information. So you could have a number of articles down here or basically content pages where you display an image, the introduction to it, and you then click the read more button to see more information. Over here, we've got some great looking drop down menus. So by clicking on those, it just slides down and you can have sub items as well for each menu. Clicking it again, just makes the menu slide back up again. Now, if you're after a bit more of a traditional looking website, well, you can do that too. Our own website, Building Websites Made Simple, is also built using Joomla. So as you can see, we've got a bit more of a traditional look and feel here, where we've got a standard page where you can scroll down. We've got our menus on the left hand side, as well as a vertical menu up the top here. We've also added some cool features as well. For example, 
click on an image here, it opens up a pop-up with some more information. For example here about our free tutorials. Joomla makes it so easy to add nifty little features to your website. Let me give you a quick example here. This is our membership sign up page where we're also offering a free membership. In this particular section you can see the join now form for our free membership. Now, Joomla allows us to set this up in a way so that this form is only displayed to people that aren't members. As soon as someone's actually joined and logged in that form won't show anymore. Let me give you a quick example. Now that I've logged into the website, that whole section about joining for free has all disappeared because you don't want to annoy people with the same message again once they've already joined. Looking further down the page, you can see the registration form for our paid memberships instead. We're using an extension called Joomla Subscription Sites to run our Joomla site as a membership-based website. That gives us control over who can access which content depending on various paid plans that they're part of. It also manages the ongoing payments and all that sort of thing as well. So I hope I've given you a few ideas and perhaps some inspiration on what's actually possible and what you can do with your Joomla website. If you'd like personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching and training to build a site just like these, then there are still a few spots open for the Web Coaching Clinic. But you'll have to hurry since we're only taking 30 students all together. You can find out more about it at buildingwebsitesmadesimple.com forward slash webcoachingclinic or just click the link below this video.